Hello and welcome to Crooked House Gaming. Here at Crooked House Gaming, we like to explore the gameplay of simulation games, usually through a series of Let's Plays. If this sounds like something that you're interested in, be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new here, welcome and be sure to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any future episodes. Today, we're going to explore the gameplay of the tenants, so let's dive in. In our last episode, one of our tenants wanted to get into sports, so we have to go over there and renovate their bedroom. Here we are at Boring Lane. Let's get in here and begin the cleaning. You can pick this up, Uncle Steve. And since we're going to be renovating our bedroom, we are going to add that trash can. All right, Uncle Steve, that looks to be all of it. You can head on out. Let's begin the renovation. She wants the bedroom floor done in a linoleum. We'll do this posh linoleum. Doesn't look like she wants us to paint the wall a specific color. She wants a treadmill. We'll give her a blue treadmill. Moving her bed under the window. We're going to move the end table near the bed. We're gonna move the treadmill over here so it's near the electricity. She wants some dumbbells. We're gonna give her these contemporary dumbbells. We'll put them over here near the window. She wants a motivational poster. We'll give her never give up right in front of the treadmill. She wants a trophy. We have to give her a shelf to put her trophy on. So we're gonna give her this white cabinet next to the treadmill. We're gonna sell this light. We'll sell this cabinet. We will We'll move this right under the camera and we'll give her some overhead lights and I said we're gonna put a trash can in here so let's do that so she likes to throw her things on the floor we'll give her this basic trash can we'll put it right next to the treadmill let's head on out Cindy Ponce says nice stuff enjoying the refresh look we have one hundred thirty three thousand four hundred and nine dollars in our personal cash we are still playing for high stakes achieve financial liquidity before you move to a new district reach a monthly cash flow of eight thousand dollars we have a monthly cash flow of six thousand nine hundred and ten dollars let's see if there are any properties for sale that we might be able to purchase we have a boat we could purchase that we could purchase this beach road property and perhaps we could purchase the canor circle one uh, if we had a bank loan so let's take a look at the bank loan options yeah let's take out a bank loan we'll do 18 months we'll sign the agreement the bank says thank you for signing a, a loan agreement agreement with our bank. Please remember to pay your installments on time. We're going to go join that Canor Circle auction. Uncle Steve come in here and evaluate these walls. He doesn't like the walls. He says 22%. Evaluate this table over here, Uncle Steve. Oh, he doesn't like that either. Come in here and evaluate this television. Oh, he's sort of mad about that. Evaluate this bed. He thinks it's worth 157820 Let's go over here. Here. We've got a third one. Did you know that that's enough to start saying you own a few apartments? A real businessman on the rise. New items are unlocked. Wall murals, a set of fancy wallpapers that will enliven boring room. Earn experience by completing jobs, purchasing apartments, and signing agreements with tenants to level up and unlock new items. We now have a new property, and our monthly cash flow has gone down because we now have a bank loan. We have a point for our skill tree. We can get a second bank offer, which is is what we've been working towards unlocks the second bank offer of one hundred thousand dollars let's unlock that skill we can start renovating this and try to rent it out let's go in here and begin cleaning clean this up try to restore that clean up these cobwebs yeah, put this in player storage uncle steve so we bought an apartment let's claim that reward congratulations you've completed a goal you get free services hit that like button sign an influencer for your own apartment assign a musician complete three elite contracts we're gonna do that complete these goals to get a reward all right uncle steve you can put this in player storage as well now, i don't know how many people we can actually move into a flat like this now what we're just gonna do is sell all the things let's take a look at where our water is Water's there water's there we're gonna take down these walls over here what we're gonna do is we are gonna have rooms like this this will be the main area we will put a door here we will put a 
door here. We'll put a door here. And we'll put a door here. This is going to be the bathroom right here. We don't have a lot of money. We're going to have to put in water. We're going to put a water outlet right here in the middle. We do need to put a heating element in here. Uh, yeah, this is taking a big chunk of change. Put a heating element in this room. We will put a water plug right here. Electricity in here. The electric outlet in here somewhere. We'll throw an electric outlet over here. The three ninety nine doors on. But they are rustic. I really wanted a contemporary door. Let's do the floors in the main area. We have rustic in here right now for the doors, but I want some sort of tile. We could do vintage. So we're going to do the checkered porcelain tile in the center room in this room. I love that tile. I'm not touching it. I really wish we had more of this wall, but we don't have more of that wall. We're going to do the murky vintage wall in here to go with that tile. Oh, there's an earthquake. So we're going to have people calling about uh, come fix our things. We're going to leave that floor the way it is. We're going to put this $35 floor in this room. We'll put a $35 floor in this room. So we're doing vintage and rustic in this flat. So we'll put this unique yellow wall in this room. We'll do a contemporary vintage wall in this room. Patricia Moss says, you gotta help me during the recent earthquake. A few walls got damaged and I don't know what to do. We'll send our uncle in right away. So here is Uncle Steve. He's gonna fix the walls that got damaged by the earthquake. Looks like there's only two of them. Hey, Uncle Steve, you can head on out and you can come back in and clean up this pile of trash. And Patricia Moss says, the building looked like it was gonna cave in at any moment. Glad you had my back. Go back to our property at Canor Circle. Continue the renovation. We're also gonna have to set up our bill to pay automatically. We'll do this vintage wallpaper in this room, but we're gonna do this color in the kitchen. And Cindy Pont says, you gotta help me during the recent earthquake. A few walls got damaged and I don't know what to do. Well, we'll send in Uncle Steve right away to foe. Lots of walls. This is might be where the majority of the quake actually occurred in the slums. Uncle Steve's doing a great job repairing these walls. And we're gonna send Uncle Steve on out. And Cindy Pond says the building looked like it was gonna cave in at any moment. Let's go back to our property. But let's continue the renovation here at Canor Circle. We are gonna put it in our bathroom first because we always do our bathroom first. So we're gonna use this pigeon shower cabin. We're gonna do it in this tealy color. We'll put that right there. We need a toilet of some sort. We'll do this future toilet in this tealy color. We'll put it right there. That looks bizarre, but that's the only way to keep something from blocking the path to the item. Let's see what kind of sink we have. We have a fancy sink. We need a toilet paper. We'll do this contemporary toilet paper. We'll put it under the window. We're going to give them a toilet brush so they actually clean their toilet. Put that in the corner. We'll give them a plunger near the toilet brush. We should give them some sort of light in here. We're we'll giving this LED modern light right over the sink. We have $17,704. We're going to give them this classic round wall mirror over the sink. In the kitchen, we, we want a trash bin right away. We'll put the trash bin over here for now. We're going to give them this contemporary cooker. We want a sink. We'll give them this contemporary red and black sink. We're going to move the cooker over here. We want a night cabinet. So we're going to do this night cabinet in a red and a black. And we'll do another night cabinet right here. We'll do this a yieldy fridge in a black. We'll put it right there. We're gonna move the trash can over here near the cooker. We'll put this modern light right over the sink. We'll give them this posh kitchen head. Now let's go off into the bedrooms. We're gonna give them this black and white bed in the back room. We'll put it up against this wall. And in this room, we're gonna give them a black and white bed as well. And we'll put it up against that wall. And in this room, we're gonna give them the bed the other side. And we'll give it to them in a black and a white. Put it right here. They need some sort of seat. So let's give them a seating area. We're gonna give them this contemporary temporary marine table in red. We'll put it right over here. Close as I can to that door. We're going to give them a couple of chairs. I can give them three. There's something blocking the path. We'll move the tables and chairs over here. We'll move the electrical box into the bathroom. We'll give them a white cabinet over here near their bed. We'll give them another white cabinet over here near this bed. They're not going to have any personalities. They can move in and make their own personality because you know they're going to say, hey, I want exercise equipment in my room. We're going to put this modern wall light over the bed. We'll put this modern wall light over this bed. We will put a modern wall light over this bed and it's going to say we don't have electricity in here. And come in here and put some electricity in. Let's do that right away. Let's put in some plants. Plants make everything better. Put a three mounted wall agave right there. We will put a three mounted wall agave in this guy's room. Under the heater. We'll put the three mounted wall agave there. We'll put 
a three mounted wool agave over here. What do we have in player storage? We got a clock. We got some plates. How about these plates over here? We're gonna sell the pendulum coin. We're gonna put in the, this friendship neon light. Put that over the table and we'll put in some electric. and put outlet over here. We're gonna move the friendship light over here. We're gonna give him this pink sofa. We'll give him this wall mounted TV right there. We're gonna put a wall clock in here right over the table. We'll do the red rug in here right under the sofa area. We're selling these plates. And we'll put the bookcase over here. I'm gonna put the easel in the brown room. I'm gonna put a treadmill in this room. We're gonna give them this foldable desk in a yellow. We'll put that right on that wall. We're gonna give them this pigeon chair in a black and we'll give them this gaming laptop. We'll give them a headset and we'll give them some fantasy books. I'm gonna give them this coffee pot in a red near the stove. I will give them a blender in a red near the refrigerator. We're gonna put trash cans in all of the rooms because I don't want to deal with trash on the floor. We'll put a trash can over here near this door. We'll put a trash can over here near their desk. We'll put a trash can in this one's room near the plot. And we'll put a trash can near the door in this room. We'll give them some plastic time near the blender. We'll put a cutting board on the wall. We're gonna give them this key rack near the electrical box. We'll give them a shoe rack near the electrical box. We'll give them a coat rack near the key rack. Let's give them some history books. We'll put some fantasy books out here as well. We'll give them a welcome mat by the door. We want a rug in the bathroom in this yellow color. We'll give them these smile toothbrushes in the sink. Give them a black washing machine in the corner. We'll put in some more electricity and we gotta put in a water tap. We'll give them a contemporary hamper near the washing machine in a color variant of black. We need home share license. We'll install that. This is probably where we're gonna lose a lot of our money. And we aren't gonna be able to do reference checks because we are running low on cash. And we probably should have put monitoring in. Let's install a TV service. Let's install heating. Who's missing the heating? This room? Let's try to have an open house. We're doing rooms to rent. We're starting the event. We can't do any reference checks on these people. Oh, uh, but Patricia Moss just sent us money for the period, so we might be able to. Oh, she is thinking this place is fine. She's loving this room. Let her walk around a bit. This is Antonia Curtis. She's 43 years old. She likes futuristic and contemporary things. We have another lady who's coming in, and her name is Penelope Lara. She likes contemporary and rustic. Antonia Curtis, she loves this room. She thinks this room is good. Let's do a tenancy check on Antonia Curtis. What does she think of this flat? She thinks it's fine. We're waiting for Antonia Curtis's background check. Antonia Curtis has an excellent background. Let's negotiate with Antonia Curtis. We're gonna make an offer for 120 days. We're gonna ask $3,700 and she says, no way I'm gonna pay this much. $990. No way I'm gonna accept that little. I will go down to $3,600 and I will make that offer. This is way too much. $1,000. $740. I'll get down to $3,400. I'll make that offer. She says, no way I'm going to pay this much. $1,990. We're going to go down to $3,100. We'll make that offer. She says, $2,110. We'll accept her current offer. So we have one tenant in here. Penelope Laura just thinks this place is fine. Tobias Pierce thinks this place is good. Let's do a tenancy check on him. Tobias Pierce has two good tenancies. Let us negotiate with Tobias Pierce. We're gonna do 120 days. We are gonna go all the way up to the end again. We're gonna ask $2,790. We'll make that offer. He says way too much. $730. And I'm gonna say $2,660. Make that offer. And he says worst deal ever. $1,280. We'll go down to $2,000. $2,500, I'll make that offer. And he says, no way I'm gonna pay this much. $1,470, we're gonna go down to $2,320, we'll make that offer. And he says, way too much, $1,560, we'll accept that current offer. So we have two tenants and it looks like Cindy Ponce says, my heater stopped working and I'm literally starting to freeze here. Send in a pro. Let's do a tenancy check on Nella. P. 
see Laura. Cindy Pond says, thanks, I can walk around the apartment without a scarf. We're waiting for the tenancy check on Penelope Laura, and they say she's excellent, so we're going to negotiate with her. We're going to ask $2,620. We'll make that offer. She says, way too much, $690, but she's in love with this place. No, we want to do 120 days. We'll go down to $2,500. We'll make that offer. No way I'm going to pay this much. $1,210. We will go down to $2,360. We'll make that offer. And she says, worst deal ever, $1,390. We are going to go down to $2,190. We'll make that offer. And she says, way too much, $1,480. We'll accept that current offer. We now have three tenants in our Canor Circle flat. We have success. We've unlocked some new items. It looks like we have completed our playing for high stakes achieve. And we've unlocked more new items. And we've unlocked the phone element. Uncle Steve says, Good news, I finally convinced those crooks from the city council to give us a license. First things first, let's go to the agents app. Agents take care of your business in a given district while working somewhere else. They earn a daily fee that is deducted from your earnings from a given district. Make sure that your tenants pay their rent on time and more. Keep in mind that some agents might be better at some aspects than others. We can hire an agent in the slums. Yeah, Kathleen Stanford, her salesmanship is great. No, I'm not thrilled with that. Tommy Evans doesn't look terrible, but his revenue share is pretty high. Well, maybe we start off with Tommy Evans. His daily rate is 47. I'm gonna hire Tommy Evans. Districts. Wondersville is divided into three districts. First, you need to obtain an agent's license. You can switch between unlocked districts as long as you have an agent assigned to your current district, which we now do. Tommy Evans says, hey Smitty, it's me, your new agent. Glad to be on board. We'll be sending you a report every month with your money. LP Lara, who's one of our new tenants, says, yo, how's it going, Smitty? I will not try to bother you too much. Cheers, Penelope Lara. Tobias Pierce, who is also one of our new tenants, says, dear Smitty, awfully glad we've been connected by our housing agreement. From now on, you'll be able to contact me at this number. Sincerely, Tobias Pierce. Antonia Curtis says, greeting Smitty, what a lovely place. I'm trying to recharge my aura after moving in, but I'm pretty sure it will become stronger than ever. Hope our relationships will flourish. Namaste, Antonia Curtis. I'll select the suburbs district and let's see what awaits us there. Well, I don't want to. I want to continue doing things here. I'm going to see if we can install some monitoring. We're going to do that. The individual who is installing the monitoring for our apartment is in here. Our personal cash is now $9,413. We have a point for our skill tree. Master problem solver increases tenant happiness bonus when solving issues manually with Uncle Steve by 15%. We're going to unlock that skill. We have one more point for our skill tree. We are going to unlock the skill of unlocks gift of romance book, thriller book, classic book, fantasy book, self-improvement book, superhero comic book. Let's unlock that skill. Here we are in the suburbs. Whoa, this place sure has changed. I haven't been here in ages. I'll leave you while I see some old friends. Feel free to look around and do some jobs here. I'll be back when you need me. And keep in mind that you can always switch between districts by clicking on the city map button. We have unlocked new items. Garden, a perfect starter to arrange a nice garden your neighbors will be envious of. Earn experience by completing jobs, purchasing apartments, and signing agreements with tenants to level up and unlock new items. We've also unlocked the items garage, a great set of items for a handyman longing to spend their evenings in a dark lit garage. I want to go back to the slums and do some research on our tenants that we just acquired. Uh, the relationship with Tobias Pierce is at a 61. He's neutral with us. Antonia Curtis, her relationship with us is a 56. She likes casual games, a garden self-care system. We don't know what she doesn't like. And Penelope Laura, her relationship with us is a 63. She likes sweets, extended appliance warranties. Tobias Pierce likes channels galore pack. Let's work with 
with Antonia Curtis. Let's research her. We're gonna send Penelope Lara a cake. We are the real Santa. Four out of 15. We're waiting for Penelope Lara to get her gift. She's at the door awaiting her gift. She's got her cake and she loves it. Penelope Lara says this gift is really nice. Thanks. I like it a lot. She is happy. She's at an 82. Our research with Antonia Curtis is at 22%. Let's go look at our other tenants. Cindy Ponce's happiness level with us is at 97. We have negotiations at Boring Lane. Let's head on over there. Let's get in here and begin cleaning before we do the negotiations. Uncle Steve, clean up that pile of trash. Uncle Steve is heading on out so we can begin our negotiations with Cindy Ponce. What is Cindy Ponce paying right now? Cindy Ponce is paying 3139 Let's just extend the lease. We have a success. Can we level her up at all? She is almost to level 7. We'll receive a cash bonus of $500 when we eventually do that. Let's go let's take a look at Patricia Moss to see if there's anything we can do to improve our rating with her. Let's send Uncle Steve in to begin cleaning. There's a pile of trash right here. He can clean that up. Doesn't look like there's anything else. We'll send him on out. And what can we do to improve our relations with Patricia Moss? She likes internet connection and classic literature. She's not a fan of any services. We did level her up, so we're gonna claim this. Congratulations, Patricia Moss is leveled up to five. You've unlocked the new tenant level reward. Increase the tenant's monthly rent permanently by $150. That means Liam also has uh, something like that. Increase the tenant's monthly rent permanently by $150 because Liam Carson is now a level five. We also have a tenant heart back here we're gonna grab. We are concerned with Patricia Moss. Well, she thinks of us as an 87 now. What does he think of us as? 100. We're gonna give her a gift of books. She likes classic literature. We are the real Santa of five out of 15. We're waiting for her to receive her gift. She's going to bed. It looks like Liam's going off to work and Patricia Moss is waiting for her gift. And the gift of the classic literature has arrived. And Patricia says, is it my birthday today? No, it's not. You're just a nice person. Our rating with Patricia Moss is now a 91. We're waiting for Antonia Curtis's research to complete. We have a tenant heart here. We're going to pick that up. Research complete. You successfully uncovered that one of your tenants is uptight. They will not be a fan of services. I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you so much for stopping by our Cricket House. If you like what you saw, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to follow Smitty on his journey to create his landlord empire. It really helps us out. Have a great week. See you soon.